Have you ever wondered how some prisoners manage to outwit security and orchestrate daring escapes? How can prisoners break into a place that's supposed to be really safe? From slipping out of handcuffs and commandeering vehicles to leveraging unlocked doors and even using bulldozers, these astonishing escapes reveal both the vulnerabilities in prison systems and the audacity of those desperate for freedom. So let's explore these gripping stories of escape and see how far sheer willpower and a bit of luck can take you. Number 1. Donald Nisley When Donald Nisley got to the prison with the other prisoners, he saw that the guards weren't paying much attention. So, while everyone else was going inside, he quietly slipped behind the van. Lucky for him, the keys were still in the ignition. So he started the van and drove it right through the garage door and into some trees. But he didn't get far before the guards caught him and took him back to the prison. So, just having keys doesn't mean you can drive. Having something doesn't mean you can use it. It's important to know how. Number 2. Gonzalez Escape Gonzalez supposedly stole a cell phone from a cart belonging to a hotel cleaner on September 14th. The security cameras caught her doing it. The police caught her and took her to the Waukesha Police Department, where they put her in a room to wait. Amber Gonzalez was left alone in a room, supposedly to arrange for someone to pay bail on a phone. She managed to slip out of the handcuffs with a little effort. Then, Gonzalez took keys from the door and used them to get out through an emergency exit. Later, they found her back at the same hotel where she was arrested. She walked through people's yards to a gas station where she met a truck driver, and they both went back to the Waukesha Hotel. The guards said they put the handcuffs on very tightly. Maybe they just didn't think a small woman could have such small hands. Number 3. Poster County Jail Escape In a big escape from jail, Michael Maldonado did something really brave in the prison garage. When he arrived at the prison garage, Michael Maldonado decided it was worth the risk. He jumped from the back seat of a police car to the front and out the driver's side door. Then, he ducked underneath the garage door just as it was closing. The officers had to reopen the door before they could pursue him. When Maldonado was chased, he ran super fast across a parking lot. It took a whole day to catch him. This shows that when someone is chasing you, you can get motivated and run as fast as you can to escape. Number 4. China's Prison Break in northeast China, three inmates escaped from a detention center after reportedly killing a guard. The escape happened in Yanshu County, near Harbin, early Tuesday morning. The inmates, Wang Daman, Gao Yulin, and Lai Haiwai, wore police uniforms to leave the center. Surveillance footage showed a guard taking one shackled inmate to an office. Two other inmates followed and helped the first inmate strangle the guard. Afterward, the three walked out one by one at around 4.40 am. Wang Daman and Lai Haiwei were soon recaptured, but Gao Yulin is still on the run. Authorities are actively searching for him. This incident has raised concerns about security at the detention center. Number 5. Bulldozer Attack in Denmark 12 people broke out of a prison in Copenhagen on Sunday. They used a bulldozer to make a big hole in the prison wall, which was about 26 feet tall. This wall separated the area where the prisoners were kept from the main road. The prison is called Vridslo Slil State Prison. We're not sure if anyone was driving the bulldozer when it crashed into the wall or if anyone got hurt. Videos showed the bulldozer crashing through the wall and the prisoners running out. The videos were taken by a news station, and the police arrested one of the camera operators because they thought he knew about the escape beforehand. The police think the escape might have been planned to happen during a soccer game at a nearby stadium. Some of the fans who go to these games are known to cause trouble. The police caught three of the escapees later on, but the others, who are convicted of serious crimes like murder and selling drugs, are still on the run. Number 6. A Spontaneous Escape Shane Joseph and Wee Ames driver attempted a daring escape from a Georgia prison while on garbage duty. Seizing in a putch in moment, they fled with the prison guard, Rebecca caught off guard. Despite having a head start, the fugitives failed to lay low. The driver was tracked down in a nearby apartment through a phone number trace, while Joseph was discovered hiding in a barn merely three miles away from the prison. Both men were subsequently apprehended and returned to serve extended sentences. This escapade underscores a curious blend of luck and folly where a stroke of fortune granted them a fleeting taste of freedom, only to be swiftly thwarted by their inability to stay under the radar. Number 7. Benton County Escape In the Benton County Escape, a group of prisoners was being sent to jail when one of them had an escape plan. The man slipped away from security, re-entered the courtroom, and used his prison-issued shirt to hide his handcuffs. 
He then took off his distinctive prison-issued shoes and continued barefoot through the courthouse to the lobby. He exited through the front doors onto the street and went away to enjoy his freedom. However, his independence didn't last long as he was captured by the police one month later and found living in his friend's apartment. Number 8. Rustam Chuck The 25-year-old Russian inmate Rustam Chuck was arrested for robbery and thrown in jail. During his time there, he realized that he was skinny enough to squeeze through the food delivery hatch of his cell. He took off all his clothes, which offered him some resistance and climbed headfirst through the hatch naked, falling into the corridor. CCTV footage revealed that he calmly and casually got dressed as if it were a normal thing, then went out to enjoy his freedom. Number 9. A Helicopter Escape Unlike in movies, this escape was not well executed and took a long time. The prisoners had to climb a rope dangling from the hijacked helicopter, which landed on the prison roof. The whole escape took six minutes, and surprisingly, the guards did not intervene. The guards were unarmed and couldn't fight the armed criminals. It's still unclear why they didn't take any action. Despite the dramatic escape, the prisoners' freedom was short-lived as they were arrested just a few hours later. This escape ended up being both costly and ineffective. Number 10. Derek Estelle Escape Derek Estelle was arrested in 2013 for stealing a car, bank robbery, and other crimes. While in jail, he planned his escape with help from his mother, girlfriend, and her stepfather. Just two months after being jailed, Derek made his move. Security cameras showed him talking to his mother on the phone at the jail's reception area. Suddenly, he dropped the phone, dove through the open reception window, and ran out the front door. He jumped into a waiting car and sped away. Less than a month later, police caught Derek, his mother, and his girlfriend. Number 11. Quantrell Schwartzlow In 2018, Quantrell Schwartzlow, a 17-year-old who was convicted for hitting and suffocating a female, attempted a daring escape from Rock County Jail. Because 17-year-olds can be punished as adults, he faced significant jail time. In October 2018, when alone in an interview room, Quantrell recognized an opportunity and seized it. He made a tremendous jump from 12 to 16 feet, demonstrating nearly remarkable agility and speed. His getaway was as effortless as a diver's leap and as swift as a sprinter's run. His freedom, however, was short-lived, as authorities captured him a few hours later at a friend's house in Jansdall. With maneuvers like his, the cops might need to take more precautions next time. Number 12. Tori T. Smith In 2009, Tori T. Smith, a 31-year-old woman from New Orleans, was arrested on charges of battery and aggravated assault against her boyfriend. She was taken to the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office for processing before being placed in central lockup. During her processing, Tori noticed a series of mistakes by the jail staff. A guard entered the jail and closed the door but failed to lock it. Then he asked another worker to buzz him through another door, which was also left unlocked. Seizing the opportunity, Tori asked if she could use the bathroom and simply walked out through the two unlocked doors. She immediately fled the jail. However, her freedom was short-lived. Authorities found her a few hours later and she was re-arrested. In addition to her initial charges of battery and aggravated assault, she now faces an additional charge for escaping custody. And that wraps up our journey through these jaw-dropping prison escape stories. We've seen everything from sneaky maneuvers to downright bold moves. But it's important to remember that escaping isn't easy, and it's not something to try at home. These stories are just reminders of how determined people can be. If you enjoyed these tales, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing stories. Until next time, keep exploring and stay safe. Thanks for watching.